House of Gucci is leading the SAG nominations and no doubt will be racking up more accolades when the Oscar noms are announced next week. And it should come as no surprise as it is filled with stellar performances by the entire cast, including Jared Leto as Paolo Gucci. Take a look. Paolo, you are Gucci. You need to dress the part. It's chic. I don't consider myself to be a particularly ethical person, but I am fair. You picked a real firecracker. She's a handful. Bravo. And we've got Jared Leto here with us now. Jared, let's get straight into it. First of all, you are unrecognizable in it. But the other thing is, I'm looking at you, and I, I kept thinking, I feel like he's having fun. Yeah, I had a blast. I mean, I fell in love with the character. From the minute I read this script, I thought this was an incredible opportunity. Not only did I have a chance to work with Ridley Scott, who's one of my favorite directors ever, but I got a chance to work with Al Pacino, who really taught me how to act. And then Adam Driver and Lady Gaga, just this incredible group of people that I got to do scenes with. It was phenomenal. And uh, all of us felt like there was an opportunity here to, to get in the ring with one another and see what we were made of, to dive really deep, to, to hopefully make something special and share that with audiences around the world. You're famous for your process, right? How you get lost in these characters. Like when you show up, you're not Jared, right? Like you're not meeting these people as you. Is that is that right? In a way, yeah, that is right. And, uh, you know, I like to work really immersively. I find it incredibly exciting and fascinating and fun to work that way. It's funny because Al Pacino, who's, you know, been around forever, was was most of my scenes were with him. He's a legend. And, uh, you know, I really respect and admire him. And the first day that I showed up and I said hello to him, he kind of brushed me off. And I went up to him again, like 10 minutes later, and I said hello again. And I he kind of ignored, like, you know, walked away and like, who's this, you know, weird guy. And I was, I thought, okay, maybe he's playing the disaffected father, but he actually didn't know who I was. He didn't recognize me. And it was kind of a crazy thing. Someone whispered to him, Hey, it's Jared. And he turned around and he said, Oh my God, my son. But it was a great accident because I thought if one of the world's best actors could look and believe, look at me, right. Is, you know, a foot away from me and and believe that I was just some random Italian guy that maybe was going to ask for his <laughs> autograph, then, then we were in a good place. And, and I carried that with me for the, the rest of the film. I keep going back to the scenes with Pacino. Like, when you're in those moments, like, or even, like, I'm thinking about the scenes with you and Lady Gaga, I would just be wanting to scream at the interaction that I'm seeing because it's so incredible. I, I'm genuinely curious about what is going on internally when you're in those moments. That scene with, with Gaga, some, you know, a lot of what you're talking about in that scene was Im improvised. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't planned. Even the dancing, it's just something that just happened. And that's fun. That's a really exciting place to be, just to take a left field, all of a, uh, a left turn all of a sudden and um, go to someplace new. And then boof, all of uh, this boof. I was like, I, don't, I love this guy. I love this guy. So this might be a weird question, but is it ever hard when you're done with the character? Like, there's something about this guy who's so lovable. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I tend to get quite attached to the characters, you know, and especially if you work really hard, it kind of is like, wait, we're, we're going to finish and stop this now? It's, it's kind of a strange thing. But, but I loved Paolo. You know, to me, he was full of heart and, and humor. And yeah, a boof was this thing I just started saying uh, uh, all, all the time. Uh, and it had a variety of, of, of meanings uh, for me. Uh, but it was really funny. At the end of the, the film, I actually made up T-shirts that, that said boof for the, the, the crew and the cast. But should we tell everybody that they need to go and see House of Gucci? Yeah. And um, Jared, do we end with boof? Boof.